Welcome back to Visual Nova. Today we're creating smooth and modern motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Let's get started. First we'll open DaVinci Resolve. Now go to the media pool. Here, right click and create a new Fusion composition. I'll name this composition Motion Graphics. Now I'll change the duration from 5 to 6 seconds. You can choose any duration according to your own requirement. Now hit Create. Next, drag the Fusion composition from the media pool onto your edit timeline. After that, move to the Fusion page. Here you can see we have one media out node. First of all, we'll create a background. So, from here drag a background node and connect it to the media out node like this. Now, select the background node. On the right side, go to type and change it to gradient. Adjust the white and black portions like this. First, we'll change the black portion color. Click on the color box. As you can see, we have many colors available here. I'll select this color and set it like this. Now, copy the properties of this color. Next, change the white portion color. Paste the same properties here and now slightly drag this color like this. Now hit OK. So here our first background is ready. Now we'll create another background. From here, drag another background node and connect it with the previous background like this. Now take an ellipse node and connect it to the merge of the background node like this. Increase the size of the ellipse circle and set it like this. Now, select the background node again. Go to type on the right side and choose gradient. Adjust this gradient in the viewer window like this. Now, change the black portion color. I'll pick this color and keep it slightly bright. Hit OK. Next, change the white portion color. Pick the same color and slightly adjust it here. Now hit OK. Now, to make the second background shape look different from the first one, we'll create an outline type edge on it. This will make it look more beautiful and both backgrounds will feel separate. For this, simply select the merge node, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search for edge detect and add it like this. Here you can see a line has been created. Now on the right side enable edge mask overlay. From detection slightly increase the edge width. Push the brightness a little. Adjust the gamma like this. Finally increase the blur to make it more smooth. You can see that a beautiful shape has appeared on the second background. Now it matches well with the first background and at the same time, it also looks clearly separate. Next we'll animate the second background. Select the ellipse node. From the Y position move it down and push it completely outside the viewer window. Now place the playhead at the very beginning. Add keyframes on both X and Y position. Then move the playhead to 20 frames and from the Y position, push it back upward as much as you want. You can see now it's animating from bottom to top, it looks really cool. To make this animation more smooth, turn on the spline editor. Check the ellipse, click fit to zoom, select the keyframes, press S and smooth it like this the way I'm doing. Now play it and see. Our smooth background animation is ready. Now turn off the spline editor. Next we'll move on to the next step, where we'll add a title to our second background. Drag a text node and connect it with the edge detect node like this. Now on the right side go to the text box and type your text. I'll write motion graphics. Next we'll change the font. I'll go with the Orbitron font. Now slightly increase the size. You can also add a little bit of tracking from here. You can change the text color from here too, but if you notice this changes the color of both words. I want to change the color of only the word graphics. So for that I'll go back to the text box. Right click and choose character level styling. Now from the viewer window, select only the graphics text. Go to the modifiers tab and from here change the color. Now hit OK. From here you can also increase or decrease the size if you want. Now go back to the tools tab. Next we'll animate the text using right on. Place the playhead at 40 frames and add a keyframe. Now move the playhead to 15 frames and set right on to 0. Now play it and see it looks really cool. Let's make it more smooth. Turn on the spline editor. Check the text, click fit to zoom, select the keyframes and press S. Now smooth it like this. Now play it and check. Now turn off the spline editor. 
place the playhead at 30 frames and add a keyframe on the size. Next, move the playhead to 40 frames and slightly decrease the size. Now play it and see. Looks really cool now. Now we'll create lines around the text. For this, add a B-spline node. Select the pen tool and in the viewer window, draw a line around the text like this. Next, add a merge node. Disconnect your previous merge node from the media out node and connect the new merge node with the previous merge like this. Now connect this new merge node back to the media out node. After that, connect the B spline with the merge node. On the right side, increase the border width. I'll set it to 0.01. Now scroll down and set the length to zero. Place the playhead at 35 frames and add a keyframe on length. Then move the playhead to 50 frames and set the length to maximum. Now go to 45 frames and add a keyframe on position. Move the playhead to 60 frames and set the position to maximum. Turn on the spline editor. Click fit to zoom. Press Ctrl plus A to select all keyframes and press S to smooth them. Now turn off the spline editor. Play it and see. We now have a cool line animation. You may notice small dots on the line. To remove them, go to border style and click here. You can see the dots are now gone. Now let's add more lines. Add a new merge node and connect it with the previous merge just like I'm doing. This time we'll use a polygon mask which is much easier. After connecting the polygon node to the merge, select the pen tool and draw lines like this. You can create lines any way you like, based on your own design. After drawing the line, slightly increase the border width. Place the playhead at 60 frames, set length to zero and add a keyframe. Move the playhead to 75 frames and set length to maximum. Now move to 80 frames and add a keyframe on position. Move the playhead forward to 90 frames and set the position to maximum. Go to the spline editor, click fit to zoom, and this time, smooth only the position. Turn off the spline editor. Now we'll add one more line below the text. Add a new merge node, same as we did for the previous line. This time we'll again use a B spline node. Move the playhead to the first line's keyframe, where the animation starts, and draw a line below the text according to your preference. We'll animate this line exactly the same way as the first one. Keep the length, position, and timing identical. So both lines open and close together which looks much better. Once everything is done, go back to the spline editor again, and just like last time, smooth only the position. Now play it and see. Both lines are opening and closing together. Next we'll add pop-up circles inside this design which is very easy. Add a new background node, and connect it with your previous merge node like this. To change the color, click on the color box, and select white. Now hit OK. Add a new ellipse node and connect it with the merge. On the right side, uncheck solid and increase the border width. Now add a transform node between the ellipse and the merge. Place the playhead at 20 frames, set the size to zero and add a keyframe. Move the playhead forward according to your choice and increase the size like this. Now select the ellipse node again and increase the border width. Add a keyframe on border width. Move the playhead forward and set the border width to zero. Play it and see. The pop-up circle animation is done. Now select the transform node, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, and add a duplicate node. Place the playhead at 40 frames, and on the right side, set the copy's value to maximum. Go to Jitter, and increase both X and Y values. As you can see, the number of circles has increased. Go back to controls and adjust the X and Y values to position the circles however you like. From here you can also increase or decrease the size. I'll slightly decrease it. Now reduce the time offset. So each circle animates at a different time. Play it and see. Cool pop-up circles have been added to our animation. Finally we'll add film grain. Connect the film grain node like this. On the right side adjust the size, strength and roughness according to your preference just like I'm doing. 
Now play it and see. Our cool, smooth motion graphics animation is ready. I hope this tutorial helped you understand the workflow and inspired you to create your own designs. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel for more Fusion tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.